they're dead. Religious rites become obscene orgies. Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing together in Count Dracula and his vampire bride. The king of the undead marries the queen of the zombies. This, the eve of the Sabbath of the undead. I call upon you to witness my supreme triumph. Van Helsing, the body of your granddaughter will never be corrupted. The devil himself is exorcised. My revenge has spread over centuries and has just begun! Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, the ultimate power is revealed as the two masters of Venice grapple for the souls of the living and the dead. violent, vicious horror, never such stark, nerve-shattering terror, and never a woman who loved like this, her schizophrenic embraces making corpses of her lovers, their bodies savagely scarred by her flesh-ripping claws. The vampire beast craves blood. There's nothing I can do. He's dead. All of her victims are men whom this psycho fiend has to have to satisfy her desperate, inhuman hunger for a love mate. You don't move. Does it make you feel romantic? No man is immune to her irresistible lure. No man can survive her insatiable lust for blood because she's something more than mortal woman. She's the incarnation of evil. It was a horrible creature, sir, with huge eyes, sir, oh, with the wings, the wings, sir. A ah! ah! vampire beast craves blood. to destroy you both. But there's no escape from the diabolical power that turns this beautiful woman into a giant death's head killer. Terrifying creature of murder and horror. The Vampire Beast Craves Blood. Starring Peter Cushing, Robert Fleming, Wanda Ventum, the Vampire Beast Craves Blood. Blood Suckers. Grotesque rituals and pagan orgies. They worship evil as their god, and their high priest is lust. Blood Suckers. The living dead feasting on the life's blood of their victims. seek to possess our bodies and our minds. For the academic world dehumanizes us. Blood suckers.
the hypnotic spells they cast on the living, but a prelude to the unspeakable terrors yet to come. Are you trying to tell me that a girl sucking blood from a man's neck and juice an orgasm? The creeping horror spread like some twisted, vile plant engulfing the living and the dead. Blood suckers. A trickle of red became a churning, roaring river of blood. Decaying creatures of the night walking the earth until the pits of hell opened wide to receive the living, the dead, and the undead. Blood suckers. You have been found guilty of one of the vilest of crimes. I am a doctor, you know. I have decided to extend my leniency to its limits by only sentencing you to be committed to the state asylum for the criminally insane for a period of five years. Behind these walls, cut off from a world of reality outside, confined to a world of madness and brutality within, Frankenstein lives. I knew you couldn't give up your work completely. And you haven't. Frankenstein returns as dedicated as ever to one unholy purpose, to build a living being. I've succeeded this time. And every sacrifice will be worthwhile. But what monstrous creature will emerge here when it can only be created from the bodies of the criminally insane? There's a monster at last! <laughs> Frankenstein. Only his incredible mind could create such uncontrollable terror. No, to Baron Frankenstein, creator of man. Creator of blasphemy from the bodies of psychopaths. A living thing assembled with the brain of an insane genius. A supreme madness distilled into the body of this monster from hell. If everything could be reborn, unblemished, if a new version of his true self could be created, huh? In the normal way, by mating. But who with? Sarah. <laughs> This day will be avenged. A curse of the dead hand. <laughs> the dead hand that crawls, creeps, and kills. <laughs> <laughs> the dead hand that lives. And now, 
the screaming starts for them and for you. Come with us, if you dare, on a terrifying journey through cells of madness, haunts of horror and fear. Come with us to this forsaken monument of crumbling stones which echoes the desolate cries of the damned. Descend with us to the forbidden chambers of the ancient pagan gods of wrath, where the devil's men perform the secret rites of the land of the Minotaur. Those who enter the forbidden chamber of the Minotaur must die. Die, 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 die. The land of the Minotaur. Donald Pleasance as the man of God who defies the dark and sinister powers that curse this land and all who venture into it. The devil has many faces. And many help us too. Come on, let's get out of here. Peter Cushing as the Red Prince of Evil, who lures young lovers into the deadly embrace of the devil's men. The old customs remain, and the ancient gods live on. The old customs remain, and the ancient gods live on. Coming to this theater soon. Don't miss it. May I have your attention, please? I'm Dr. West, but this is Dr. Stanley. Now, we've completed going over Dr. Phillips' notes, and I must warn you that we're faced with a very dangerous situation, Dr. Stanley. Science creates. Can science destroy? Now, this is very difficult to explain, but there are some creatures loose on this island, and they're dangerous. What do you mean, creatures? I wish I could tell you more, but we just don't know exactly what they are. Come on, let's get out of here. Listen to me! They're inactive now because they divided, but we don't know for how long, and we can't stay here, so come on! Oh, David, I'm so proud! So Fiction or fact, this could really happen. Are you all right? No! There's, there's one out here. He's in the car, quick! Can this horror be destroyed? <laughs> Can these terrified people be saved from certain death? Fire, bullets, bombs could not penetrate its impregnable shell. But something did. What? There lies another world. The sinister world of Dr. Diablo. Torture God. It is not for the faint of heart. No, what you find there will be more terrifying, more horrendous than your deepest, darkest dream. <laughs> Who has the courage to try it? You, Jack Palance.
have you the courage to face its heaven store for you. You, Burgess Meredith, as the devil incarnate. What horror will you next reveal? You, Beverly Adams, what lies beyond your dreams to be devil your future? The torture god. Many people walk the length of its terror. No. Wait! I'll do it! I'll do it! This is the writer who shields the secrets of immortality. Did you know that there are ways to raise the dead? The rich man who'd sooner part with his life than his wealth. The money! The torture garden. It's where the devil calls the tune to play a concerto of fear. There's a man out there with, with his head all... No! <laughs> you are trapped. the screen. Gaze on the Gorgon, a she-monster who turns living, screaming flesh into stone. It has been said that every legend and myth known to mankind is not entirely without some truth. It was here, under a full moon, in the little village of Van Dorf, that an ancient legend suddenly terrifyingly came to life. Doctor, you'll perform an autopsy. On a body that's turned to stone? years, Megara the Gorgon had kept her evil peace. But now this strange, unearthly creature returns to petrify every human being who crosses her path. <coughs> Starring Peter Cushing as the doctor, did his strange talents direct him to medicine or murder? Christopher Lee as the professor, confronted by a conspiracy of silence that paralyzed the village with terror. Akira died 2,000 years ago. It's her spirit we're concerned with today. It's found a resting place in somebody. <laughs> the terrifying realism. She comes to life and brings death to all those who look upon her face. Carla! I am waiting for Carla, Mr. Heights. Let's <laughs> go. 